What's up Hoopers, it's Coach Alex from Think Pro Basketball and in today's video we are going to go over how to use a finger roll. Let's get started. All right, guys, well, like I said, we're gonna be working on our finger roll finishes, and I'm gonna show you two different ways to use a finger roll. A regular finish at the basket, and then a finger roll scoop as like a floater, all right? So with the finger roll, there's a couple things that you have to know. The ball is coming off of your fingertips, right? That's why they call it a finger roll. So on a layup, a lot of the times you'll go up, lay it in, but you're shooting it like overhand style. So if I was to go up for a layup, I'm going in like that right overhand with the finger roll it's all underhand so if, when I shoot the finger roll it comes nicely off of my fingers right so if I was to go up boom it's right there there's not coming off my palm because again when you shoot the basketball you should have a nice pocket between the ball and your hand same with the finger roll if I was to finger roll it I don't want that ball to just roll right off off of my palm I want to be in control of it so when I get up towards the basket, I'm in control and then right at the end, I could flick it right off of my finger. All right, so those are the key points that you need to be thinking about when using a finger roll. You attack the basket, you're in control, you get up there and then when you let go, that ball is coming strictly off your fingertips and rolling off. Finger roll. All right, so next we're going to go over two different ways to score using the finger roll. We're going to go over the regular finish at the rim, and then again, we'll look at a finger roll floater. All right, a little scoop finish is what I like to call it. But let's get into those two drills right now. All right, guys, so for this drill, simple, very easy. We're going to do basically like a layup drill. You're going to do some of reps on one side of the court. Make sure you do it on the other so you can work on your finger roll left and right handed. So as I'm attacking here, I want to get up now with the finger roll. I like to use the finger roll right there without using the backboard, right? It looks better that way. A lay regular layup, you probably want to use the backboard. But for the finger roll, if you want, you can get up there and finger roll it off the glass or like I did the first time, just straight in. But all we're doing is attacking from the wing area. You're getting up there and you're going to finger roll it in, all right? Simple and easy enough for you to understand without me having to demonstrate it a hundred times. Okay, so attack from the wing, work on your right and left hand, finish with a finger roll at the rim. Let's have a look at this first drill in full speed. Alright Hoopers, let's move on to this next drill. Now we're going to work strictly right down the middle because I really want you to get the feel of this move. We're going to work on a finger roll floater, the scoop shot, right? One that you'll see a guy like Steph Curry use. When you attack the lane, you get in here, a defender comes up, tries to stop you, boom, and you do the finger roll right over the top, right? So it's almost like a floater. So if I was getting here, shoot my floater over the top of the defender, bang. Now this is when I come and I use my finger roll. Here comes the defender, I scoop it ah, right over the top. So again, you want that ball coming off of your fingertips and not rolling off of your palms. You wanna be in control, get down the lane, get here, boom, and scoop up, All right? We wanna get that ball up and over the top of a defender and give it a chance to go in. So last, we went up and we attacked the basket and finger rolled it in. Now we're gonna be a little further back where now we have to get here and scoop that ball up and in. All right, I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. Have a look in full speed. Hey yo, bigger the flow though, that be a no-no, the kick of the popo, move it a 
in slow mode Jump like a pogo, but so so What you feel, see it's irrelevant to people I just stay with that steel See verbally I'm Magneto, we know See everybody about to tell you I'm cold all right, Hoopers, well, that's it for today's video on the finger roll. We did a regular finish, and we added the scoop finish as well. Two great moves that you can use using the finger roll. Remember the tips I gave you? If you'd like to learn something, click the like button, leave a comment, let us know what you think, any suggestions that you may have for future videos. Keep those coming, as we do appreciate them, and try to get to them as quick as we can. Most importantly, click the subscribe button, join Think Pro Basketball, where we're providing you with great content every single week designed to help you take your game to the next level. All right, so until I see you again next time, hit the gym, hit the court, put the work in, work on your finger roll, and remember to always keep hooping.